Hi, welcome to yoga. I'm Joanne. Thanks for practicing with me today. Um, we'll start today's practice. We're going to um, start over a roll. So grab your blanket or towel, whatever you've got handy at the house, and make yourself a roll. So you're going to make it fairly small, and we're going to lay over the roll to open the chest, possibly, at the beginning of the practice. So you don't want anything that's going to be too big and be uncomfortable to lay on top of. So I suggest pretty small, about this size, maybe something like that. <clears throat> um, just a very passive chest opener. And you want it to be round, not flat, best you can. And then you're going to lay uh, so that the top of the roll comes at the bottom of your shoulder blade, that little chicken wing, the bottom part here. You want the top of the roll there. So just to open the chest so we're not going too low with the roll. So we'll lay, and then you can kind of check where you are. So there's my roll and my shoulder blade. And then from there, you can fan your hands out to the side. And again, it should be uh, pretty comfortable. I just realized my blinds are open. So I'm going to close this so we're not backlit <coughs> for the video. Um, so as you get adjusted over your roll, you will make sure it's again not too high that it's comfortable. Okay. And you can have the legs extended and straight if that's comfortable, or you could bend your knees and place your feet about that width apart on the floor. Whatever feels better for you on your back. You want to be nice and neutral. And then also with the head, you want to make sure it's not, your chin is not lifted. So you might need a little prop under your head also. So just make sure the neck feels neutral. Great. And then gently let the eyes close. And let's sink into our body here. So and the feet, whatever's comfortable. Relaxing over the roll. And we'll just take a moment here to sort of observe how we feel, what's going on in the body. Noticing your, your energy levels, how many areas of discomfort or tension. allow yourself to settle into this passive chest opener. And if you haven't already, we'll begin to deepen the breath. So we want to bring the breath into the lower belly to start, and we're going to expand that breath and bring it like a wave over the chest. Over the roll. And then as you exhale, you relax over the roll. Gently squeeze the navel towards the spine. Inhale, expanding the belly and the chest. Exhale, relaxing. Releasing over the wall. And as you breathe and relax here over your bowl, you might take this time to set an intention or dedication for your practice. And repeating that to yourself a few times. Continue to breathe over the chest, expanding the lungs, opening the chest.
we'll take a couple more breaths here with the bowl. And nice and slowly, <clears throat> you're going to roll to the side and move the bowl. So, however, you need to do that. Side. And then come to your back. Again, and bring the arms by the side. We're going to place the palms down. And have your feet on the floor, hip width apart, comfortable away from your sitting bones. Just gently rock your head a little side to side. Again, make sure the neck is, <coughs> excuse me, nice and neutral. And just take a deep breath here into the belly. Feeling how more, um, you might feel more spacious in the chest with your breath. And we're just going to do some gentle pelvic tilt. So palms down, shoulders away from the ears, neck is neutral. You're just going to tuck your tailbone and gently peel up, just creating a nice reverse slope here. Knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, slowly lower down. See if you can lower one vertebra at a time. And keep your head straight. So try not to turn your head while you're doing this. Again, inhale, nice and easy, lift up, deep breath in, exhale, lower, smoothly and gently. Let's do one more time, inhale, feel yourself up, exhale, lower, Gently draw your knees into your chest, hold on to your shins. Give yourself a little squeeze, gently rock side to side. Just nice and easy, small movement. Bring the knees to center and just make some circles on your back. We'll go one direction and then we'll reverse. Draw the knees in, take your hands behind your thighs and just gently rock forward and back. If this is comfortable, if it's not, you can skip it. And we'll slowly roll ourselves up to a seat. So I'm gonna get my prop again so I can sit up on my prop. Just to elevate the hips, especially if you have any tension or if it's um, if you're tight in your hips at all, I encourage you to use a prop. I think most of us can benefit from sitting up on elevating the hips a little bit. <clears throat> and then find a comfortable seat. We're going to sit up tall, shrug your shoulders to open the chest. And then maybe clear your sitting bones so you're sitting up nice and tall, nice and stable, engaging the core just a little bit, soften the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to retract the chin slightly. Good, and then let the eyes gently close. You're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. And let's sigh out through the mouth. Letting go of any tension, we're gonna breathe in through the nose again. And as you exhale, bow the chin to the chest. Stretching the back of your neck, feeling the weight of the head forward. And just begin to gently rock side to side, ear towards shoulder. So you might start small. Keep breathing. Inhale as you open. 
Exhale as you close. Notice how the shoulders respond as you rotate. They might, if you're tight, they might have a tendency to hunch up. So see if you can keep them relaxed. Great, let's inhale, come to that first side, whichever side you want to start on. Ear toward the shoulder, sit up tall, drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then take the opposite arm, whichever side is more open, that arm's gonna come behind your back. So placing the hand, the back of your hand at the small of your back, comfortably relax that shoulder. Ears over the other shoulder, and then just gently rotate your head. Exhale, look down over this bottom shoulder. Inhale, gaze up to the opposite corner of the room. So we're just rotating, opening for the neck. Good. No pain. So if there's anything painful, don't do it. Keep the breath moving. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do a couple more. Keep releasing through the neck with the breath. Great, drop the chin to the chest, release the hand from behind the back. We're gonna take the head upright for just a moment, breathe in, exhale, drop the chin to the chest, and then inhale as you draw the ear to the other side, opening <clears throat> through the neck, same arm as the open side will come behind the back now. Same thing, other side, exhale, look down, inhale across the room, up, at your pace with your breath. Nice and easy. Again, if anything's painful, don't do it. Adjust yourself so you're not working in pain at all. If there's pain, your body's going to clench and not relax. So we want to make sure we're not working in pain. Two more breaths. Down. Deep breaths. One more time. Slowly drop the chin to the chest, release the hand from the, behind the back, and bring your head upright. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to lower the arms by the side. Shrug your shoulders here. Squeeze them up in a big circle down the back. Good, two more times, squeeze up, all the way back, try to touch your elbows, one more time, great, getting up nice and tall, we're going to let the legs come out in front of us, and then we're going to open the legs out to the sides, a little bit wide, so you might lift your flesh again, and we're going to aim the toes to the sky. So you might be here, that's fine. Wherever you are is fine. <clears throat> We're gonna inhale as we sweep one arm up. The other arm is gonna rest on the leg and you're gonna fold to the side. So I want you to open through the side body here. We're not rounding forward, but we're staying nice and open. So you may not get very far, that's fine. Keep the hips grounded and reach up and over. And from here, I want you to find a nice deep breath. Opening through the side body. Keeping the neck nice and neutral, so we're not dropping the head. Stretching through that side body and the ribs. Take another breath here. You might even gaze up. Good, and then using that torso, reach that arm out and lift yourself back up nice and slow. Press the arm to the side. Good, and then Slowly bring the other arm up and over, just a short counter stretch, lift up. Then we're gonna come back to center, we're gonna do the other side. So inhale, now take the other arm up. Deep breath in, again, hand on the leg, foot is pointing up and we're sliding down the leg, up and over. So 
keeping that chest open, stretching through the good side. The gaze can be wherever you're comfortable. Connect to your breath, grounding your single. Getting into the deep intercostal muscles between the ribs. Hold our breath here. Great, and then reach that arm out. Lift yourself up nice and slow. Exhale lower. Opposite arm will stretch up and stretch to the other side. Just a brief counter stretch. Lift up and lower. Excellent. <clears throat> Take your legs out in front, come back to your comfortable seat. Let's switch the cross of the legs so the other leg is in front, so it'll feel a little different. Sitting nice and tall, we're gonna sweep the arms up, deep breath in. And we're gonna exhale, come halfway down to a T, soften the shoulders, lean forward just slightly, and we're gonna swing one arm under the other for eagle arms. So just note which arm is on top. Come back upright to your tall posture. Hands can be on the shoulders, back to back, or palm to palm, whatever's most comfortable. So don't strive to bring the hands together if that feels funny. Sitting up nice and tall in our eagle arms, and then gently lift the elbows up, just to about shoulder height. <clears throat> Make sure your neck is neutral and aligned right above the spine. So you should feel this deep in your shoulder. And from here, I want us to take a couple of deep breaths. So you'll notice whichever arm, elbow is on top, you're feeling that shoulder blade behind you, getting a nice deep stretch. One more also stretching it using the breath. So nice and deep all the way up to the top of your lungs. Next, one more breath cycle. Excellent. Slowly unwind the arms. Relax them, shake them out a little bit. Sit up tall. Don't forget which one was on top. Inhale, lift. Exhale halfway, leaning forward just to make a little space to cross the elbows. Other one will come on top, whichever arm position works for you. You bring your torso upright, neck neutral, nice and tall. And when you're ready, we'll slowly lift the elbow just until you feel a nice stretch there. Make sure the neck is loose and then find your breath. Deep breaths here into that shoulder. You should notice as you're breathing, getting more of a stretch and softening each exhale. We'll do one more breath cycle. Slowly release the arms as you unwind. Shake them out a little bit. Maybe shrug your shoulders. Let's sit up nice and tall here. Just rest the hands on the thighs. And take a nice deep breath here. Feel a lot more spacious and open with the breath. Good. And then we're going to come on to a tabletop position. So on to all fours. You might use your cushion for your knees. Come on to all fours. So make sure your hands are right under your shoulders, knees are right under the hips. Activate the feet into the floor. Press them out away from you. Keep the neck long. Looking down in front of you, we're brightening our fingers on the mat. The inside of our elbow will rotate toward the front of the mat. And I want you to kind of engage your core a little bit so you're not just sagging and dropping the belly, but you're engaged here, protecting the lower back. And then from here, let's take a few cat cows. So find a little intention and movement with the breath. So 
Notice how you're transitioning. We're going to drop the belly, set the tail and crown to opposite corners of the room, think length. And as you exhale, you're going to round, drop the head and the tailbone, press the part of the shoulder blades and press up the spine. Inhale, we open and create space. Exhale, we round and press up. Inhaling, open. Exhale, round. Do a couple more tight bows. And again, pay attention to how you're transitioning. One more time. Come back to a neutral position. Great, we're gonna bring our big toes together. Take your knees a little bit wide and press back over your hips. So we're gonna press into our hips and then we're gonna thread the needle. So I want you to take one hand under the other extended arm and come all the way down to the cheek. So option here is to stay in this position, or if you want, you can take that extended arm behind the back to just give yourself a little more twist if that feels good. We're really focused on the bottom shoulder here, opening it up, take a couple deep breaths into your shoulder blade. So you feel like you're melting into it, so keeping the hips rounded back, take one more breath. Body weight is sort of using the body weight and breath to stretch that shoulder. Great. <clears throat> Slowly unwind from that. If you need to sit up, you can. We'll sit back again and switch sides. So other arm will come underneath. You're going to come to the cheek and the shoulder. And again, this extended arm can stay extended or you can reach it up and back. Continue to breathe nice and deep in this position. Nice and slowly, you're going to unwind yourself. Stretch your arms out, push back. Inhale, round your spine as you rise up to all fours. Bring your knees back under your hips. Walk your knees behind your hips, just a touch. Hands are under the shoulders. Again, insides of the elbows are forward. We're going to bend at the elbow. You're going to try to plant your chest right between your hands. Awkward as pose. Let the legs slide out, tops of the feet to the floor. And then inhale as you draw your heart forward. Pull your shoulder blades back behind you. Open your chest and look out in front of you. Neck and long and loose. Breathe into your belly. Feeling your lower back, using those muscles to support the pose. Baby, lift your hands. Take one more breath. Good, release the hands if they're lifted next to your chest. And we're gonna tuck our toes under and push yourself up to all fours. And then you're gonna keep the toes tucked under and slowly peel your hips up for downward dog. Take your time, coming up, pedal your feet, walk out your dog. Let's take ourselves to the front of the mat to standing forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need. Hands touch the floor, forehead tucks. Just see where you are. You might shake your head a little yes or no. Play with the weight on the feet, shift around. Find a nice rounded position with the arms dangle in front of you, and then tuck your tailbone and slowly roll up one more time. Let the upper body be passive, get a nice stretch here. And tuck. Coming to stand at the top of the mat, shrug your shoulders to open your chest. Begin to mountain pose, take a deep breath here. 
Good. From here, we're going to take a giant step back with our one leg. So I want you to have a nice wide stance. I'm going to move my blanket to the side. So we're going to um, come to warrior two stance, heel to arch alignment. <clears throat> Good. And then I'm nice and tall and centered. My shoulders are over my head. So I'm going to send my arms out to the side, soften the shoulders, reach out, gaze to the front hand where my front foot is. And then as you're ready, you're going to bend that knee. So you're opening the hip up to the knee side. And you want to make sure the knee stays right above your heel. As far down as you go, it's up to you. This back foot is nice and rooted. Gaze to the front hand. We're going to breathe here, warrior two. So notice my shoulders are aligned over my hips. And I'm breathing here nice and tall. We're going to turn our front palm to face the sky. Nice and rooted in the feet. And I'm going to lean forward just a little bit. And then as I lean forward, I'm going to scoop my hand down outside of my leg. And I'm going to pull and lift up and back. Notice my legs don't change. They stay the same. Reverse warrior. Good. Nice. So soften here, lift up. So we're now again opening the ribs here. We're breathing deep. Soften your shoulders. Legs still working. Take another breath. Breathe in deep. Let's use our exhale to come back to our warrior two stance. Gaze to the front hand. Let's take one more breath here. inhale and then lower the arms as you straighten that front leg we're just going to switch sides pivot that foot in back foot will pivot out check your alignment heel to arch good nice and open at the arms soften the shoulders and pull apart so our feet are rooted we're gazing now to the other hand and as you're ready breathe in exhale bend the knee and going the other direction now. And again, make sure the knee stays right on the heel and this hip is allowing to open with the knee. So we're not forcing it forward, but opening it out. We're finding our breath. Good, nice and tall, one breath here. We'll flip our front palm to face the sky. Again, we're gonna lean forward you're going to scoop down outside of that leg and scoop up. Imagine lifting something up and back. Opening the front ribs, keeping the legs bent, that front leg bent. And then connect to your breath, soften the shoulders. Nice deep breath. One more breath here. Good. Slowly come back, warrior two. We'll take one more breath here. Good. Lower the arm and straighten that leg. Let's turn that back foot in. We're going to turn the other foot out and step to the front of your mat. Let's come back to our mountain pose at the front. Good, lift and fan the toes, feet a hip width apart, nice and tall. We're gonna reach the arms out and behind us as we inhale, lift. Deep breath in. We're gonna soften the knees and exhale as we swan dive into forward fold. You're gonna inhale into flat back and then exhale as you fold forward. So we're planting the hands next to the feet. You're gonna take a giant step back with the right leg and the left, plank pose, send your hips up and back for downward dog. And, <laughs> pardon me, then you're gonna bend the knees and you're gonna step one leg forward. I'm gonna bring my left leg forward first, coming into a lunge position. I'm gonna step my back foot up and 
plant it on an angle and lift myself up for warrior one. So I've got my toes angled to the front, hips toward the front of the mat, front knee is bent, tailbone tucks a little bit, back leg is nice and straight, I'm going to add the arms, warrior one. Good, from this warrior one position, I'm going to take a deep breath in, and as I exhale, I'm going to pull the arms back behind me to open my chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and straighten the front knee. Coming into cactus arms. Good. Inhale, sink as you reach the arms back up next to your ears. A couple more of those. Exhale, pull back over the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Inhale as you sink and reach. Last time. Exhale back. Straightening, opening. And sink and reach. Beautiful. Straighten the front leg, lower the arms by the side, and then open your hips to the long edge of your mat. Add the arms, breathe in nice and long. So we're nice and grounded in both feet. Breathe in, gaze to that front hand. Exhale, I want you to reach, reach, reach until you can't reach anymore. Coming into a triangle pose, let that front arm fall anywhere it lands on the leg and the top arm open. You can bring the arm behind your back if that's better for you. Any modification you need so you're comfortable in the pose. We want to keep our chest open here. Breathe and not lean on this leg. So we're just as a guide here, not using my, uh, not supporting myself on that arm. Really using the side of the torso to lift the pose. Keeping the chest open, let's take one more breath. Beautiful. From here, I want you to take the top arm in a big circle behind you. Breathe in, exhale, lower that arm behind you. We're gonna turn over that front leg. Plant the hands, slide your back foot behind you and step back to plank. Come to downward dog. Let's do a little brief flow here. So we're gonna come into a plank pose again, lower your hips, shoulders over wrists, drop your knees right where they are, plant the chest between the hands. Slide your legs out behind you, open your chest for cobra. Through the feet, maybe lift the hands and breathe into your belly. Neck is long. One more breath. Releasing the hands next to the chest, chin down. Tuck your toes, making your way to downward dog. From here, bend your knees, gaze forward and step your other leg through. So I'm bringing my right leg forward. I'm gonna step my back foot up, place it on an angle, coming into my warrior one on the other side. Check your alignment, square those hips up. Good, bending that front knee, straighten the back leg, and as you're ready, add the arms. Excellent. So adjust your stance if you need. You might take more train track feet, that's fine. Good, connecting to your breath here. Breathe in. Good, and then as you exhale, we're gonna open the arms behind us, squeeze the shoulder blades back, straighten the legs. Good, inhale, we're sinking and reaching. Exhale, open the chest, pull back. Straighten up. Inhale, sink and reach. Nice deep breath. Exhale one more time. Pull back. Inhale, sink and reach. Beautiful. Take a breath in. We're going to straighten the legs, lower the arms. Turn your hips to the long edge of the mat. Add the arms. So take a breath in. Exhale, we're gonna reach, 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 pardon the back here. And then anywhere the hand lands, top arm up. 
Again, not leaning on this leg. Nice and lifted. Breathe here. Top arm can come behind you if you need. Deep breath in. On the exhale, pull that arm in a big circle behind you. Soften that front knee, frame the foot. Slide back, step back to downward dog. Transitioning to plank position. Breathing in. Exhale, drop the knees, the chest, the chin. Sliding into your cobra. Let's take it to Sphinx pose this time. Bring the elbows under the shoulders. Broaden the hands parallel to one another. Press into your forearms as you lift up out of your shoulder, looking out in front of you. Chin is slightly tucked. Feet are glued. Tailbone tucked. No pain in the low back here. If it's painful at all, you want to come down lower or maybe broaden your elbows a little wider. Make sure there's no pain. Good, one more breath here. Excellent. Slowly bring the hands down next to your chest. We'll tuck the toes, meeting in downward dog. Good, and then we're going to just walk ourselves to the front of the mat. We'll meet in forward fold again. Fold over the legs. And slowly roll yourself up to the top of the mat. <clears throat> Shrug your shoulders, open the chest. Good, let's take a nice deep breath here in our mountain pose. Notice how you feel. Great. And then I'm going to come to the center of the mat. We'll do a balance pose. I'm going to have us do the tree today. <clears throat> so we want to start in mountain pose. Feet hip width apart. You might lift and fan the toes. Nice and tall. Heavy suitcases in the hands. And then you're going to fix your gaze and shift your weight. So shift your weight to one leg, whichever side you want to start on. We want to micro bend the knee joint, so we don't want to lock the knee. So make sure you're not locking the joint. And then when you feel ready, you'll take the other foot to the ankle with the big toe down. Notice my knee is out. You could use your calf or your thigh. Don't use your knee. We never want to press our knee out. So we want to find a little engagement of the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. So we're using that intention toward the midline. Bring the hands to the heart when you're ready. And then extend your arms wherever you'd like. Keep the shoulders relaxed, connecting to your breath. And if you fall out, that's all good. Just try again. Take one more breath. Nice and slowly lower the hands to the heart center. Release the foot. We'll shake it out. Think about switching sides. Good. We're going to shift the weight to the other leg now. Again, fixing your gaze. Make sure you not lock the joint. And whenever you're ready, Whichever position feels best for you today. Every day is different with balance, so just know that. Some days are better than others. Bending your arms when you're ready. Feeling that intention to the midline of the foot and the leg. Connecting to your breath. 
open your shoulders. One more breath, and then we'll slowly bow the hips to the heart and release. Great, and shake it out. Nice work. Okay, so we're going to come down to the floor. Um, actually, let's come down to our knees. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little camel pose. <laughs> so you might use your blanket. Or you can roll up your mat. I like to just roll the mat up a little bit to give myself a little cushion for the knees. We're going to come onto the knees. Your knees should be parallel hip width apart. So a couple of options for the camel. I'm going to tuck my toes under so I don't have as far to reach. More advanced students will keep the toes untucked. Um, I think most of us will have the toes tucked if we come off the back at all. So you don't have to come off the back. So we're going to take our hands to support our lower back, thumbs around the waist, elbows draw back. So we want to feel a little momentum pulling us forward before we even start um, to find this pose. So tuck the tailbone, shoulders are open, chest is open. So option one for beginners, we're going to breathe in. And you're just going to lean. So lift the heart to the sky, open the chest, and just lean back gently. So this is a pretty big stretch here. If you'd like to come off your back and you feel comfortable doing so, you're going to, again, same thing, lift the heart, and then maybe one hand at a time comes to the heel. We're still lifting, tucking the tailbone over the chest. And if you had your toes untucked, that would be even further to reach, so a little more advanced. Take one more breath in the camel, wherever you are. Big pose. One hand at a time to come up, if you're on the back, off the back. And we'll come back up. Excellent. Untuck your toes here. We're going to come off the mat, unfurl your mat, come to sitting on your heels and bring your arms by your side. We're going to slowly lower down. So if you need a blanket or a cushion here to come into child pose, you can we come into child pose for just a moment. Deep breath in and out. And nice and slowly, you're going to sit up on your heels. And I'm going to take my feet out to the side. I'm going to face you guys. <laughs> Good. And we're just sitting up nice and tall. And again, use your prop here to sit up on. Great. And then we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. Deep breath in, nice easy twist. One arm forward, one arm back. Bring your hand maybe across the thigh. Think of length before twist. You're going to look back over your shoulder. We're going to breathe here. Deep breath in as you grow tall. Exhale as you twist. Bring our hips. Nice and grounded. Good. Release the arms back to center. Inhale, lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist the other way. Come out side to side. Open the chest. Look back behind you. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more breath in. Good. Slowly release. Back to center. Awesome. We're going to do one more shoulder stretch here at the end of the class. So you're going to take one arm up, soften your shoulder. The other hand, again, is going to come behind your back and maybe up the chest. You could use a strap over your shoulder here. 
You don't need one, but you could use one if you want. So I'm reaching out my back, and then I'm just going to bend the arm to connect toward my other hand. You may or may not connect. That's fine. This elbow is pointing up, and we're not straining our neck at all. So if you're here, don't be here. You can use a strap or you can hold your clothes, whatever's comfortable. You don't have to connect. Okay, I'm going to turn around just so you can see that this arm is reaching up and this is down. I'm connected on this side, but I won't be on the other. So you can just hold your clothes or strap. Good. Take one more breath here. Should be comfortable. Again, don't work in pain. And then when you really stretch that top arm up, and slowly lower down. Let that other arm release. Let's shrug the shoulders here. Shake them out a little bit. Okay, then we'll do the other side. Lifting the other arm up. Other hand comes behind the back. And when you're ready, just bend at the top elbow to reach. And see, I'll show you this side. <laughs> I do not connect. Not even close. And that's pretty typical for most of us. So don't have to connect. You can still get benefit from the stretch. Again, neck is loose, top elbows pointed up, and I'm just holding my clothes. I'm not really even holding them, I'm just resting my hands. Still getting a nice stretch. Let's take one more breath here. Excellent. We'll take that top arm up again. Let it go. Slowly lower down. Release the other arm. Good. Shrug your shoulders and open your chest. Give yourself a little shake out. Excellent. And then I'm going to have us do just a few rounds of um, breath work. <coughs> so we're going to do, pardon me. Um, we'll do a couple rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So from this comfortable seat, you're going to take your dominant hand up. So that's my right hand. You might use the other hand, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take a hang loose sign. You could do the last two fingers together, the um, index and middle finger in. It's a little more awkward. So whatever's more comfortable. I'm going to do hang loose today, it just feels better. So <clears throat> I'm going to take my thumb to my nostril, whichever side you're on, and then sit up tall and then relax that shoulder. So we don't want to create any tension in this, in this arm at all. So keep that nice and relaxed thumb over the nostril, sit up tall, make sure your posture is nice and tall. And as you're ready, you're going to inhale through the open side and close both sides off. And then you're going to exhale, release the thumb side. Inhale through the same side. Close both. And we're going to retain. And then you're going to release the pinky side. So we're going to work a little bit more with the counts. So I'm going to have you inhale for four. Close and retain for six. If that's comfortable. Big caveat, exhale through the thumb side. We're going to try to go for eight. Then you're going to inhale six. I'm sorry, four. Close both, retaining for six. Exhale for eight. Inhale for four. Exhale for eight. Inhale for four. Close and retain for six. And if this is too much for you, just switch. Don't even worry about 
holding and following the breath. We'll just do what's comfortable for you. So we're exhaling to the side for eight. If you're with me. We're going to inhale for four, same side. Close and retain for six. Exhale for eight, come side. Inhale, same side, pull four. Close. Release the other side, exhaling. Inhale for four. Close. Release your hand onto a comfortable seat. Just relax. Let the breath return to normal. Observe how you feel. So again, I just want to reiterate if those counts were too much or it felt uncomfortable, then you'll reduce your counts. So you don't need to follow if that's too much. So you should feel a sense of calm and peace and relaxation after doing that, especially if we're using a longer exhalation, that's going to calm everything down. So the more even you make the breath, like if we did six, 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 that'll be a little bit more energizing. And if we're focusing more on the in-breath of the longer in-breath, that'll be even more energizing. So increasing the exhale is gonna calm everything down a little bit more. So you can play with that, see what's comfortable for you. Um, <clears throat> and just, I encourage you to try like alternate ashtabri is so great for so many things. So I definitely encourage that. So I'm gonna take my blanket off to the side and I'm gonna come to the long edge of my mat. I'm gonna stretch my legs out. We're all chilled out. We're gonna lower all the way to the back. So slowly lower yourself down, unfurl yourself to the back. Good, and then once you get to your back, you're gonna slowly draw the right knee into your chest. You're gonna squeeze that knee in. And just make some circles with the big toe in both directions. Using that knee in, stretching through the lower back. Make sure the neck is relaxed on the floor. Nice and slowly straighten that leg up toward the sky, draw the toes toward the face. Hold on behind your thigh or you can do the strap here. And we're just going to do a little tension and release. So as I breathe in, I'm going to press my leg into my hand for the strap and create a little tension. And as I exhale, I'm going to let that go and relax as I draw the leg a little closer to my body. Good. Inhale, press, a little tension. Exhale, soften. Relax. Good. One more time. Inhale, create a little tension. Exhale, let it go. Good, release the hands or the strap. Flex the foot and slowly lower the leg all the way to the floor. Just relax both legs, see how they feel different. Good, and then we'll draw the left knee into the chest, squeeze it in. Circle the big 
big toe in both directions. Breathing in. We'll slowly straighten that leg up to the sky. Again, hold the thigh or you strap. Draw the toes toward your face. Breathe in, press away. Exhale, relax. A little tension, breathe in. And soften. Go. Good, one more time. Breathe in, press. Tension and exhale, relax. Good, that foot stays up, release the leg. Slowly extend all the way from the heel to the floor. Shake that out. Good, and then gently rock your head side to side, ear to neck. Make sure your neck is neutral. And then whatever position is most comfortable for you to relax in, we'll be here for just a couple of minutes. So you might take your blanket behind your head if you need it, or under your knees. You might bend your knees and place your feet on the floor if there's any tension in your back at all. Let the palms face up. Tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart. Allow the fingers to curl toward the palms as they relax. And let your eyes gently close. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Relax your entire body completely. Relax. 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 Allowing your body to completely let go. As you notice the breath move in and out of the Very slowly and gently, just begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. And as you're ready, slowly make your way to the right side of your body, coming into a fetal position. Just notice if there are any changes between now and the beginning of the practice. You might recall if you set an intention or dedication for your practice. Nice and slowly as you're ready, you're going to use your left hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. We'll be in easy pose this time that you come up. Pull it up nice and tall. And let's inhale as we sweep the arms up together. Deep breath in. Feel your hands at the top. Slowly lower them to your heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. Thank you for practicing with me. And we'll bow to each other. Namaste.